back to my channel my home is all decorated for Christmas at least the ground floor <laughs> it's all done and I wanted to share that with you guys I'm sure by now you've seen my kitchen being decorated for Christmas I think and I am just going to share with you guys my living room dining room and the conservatory where I am sitting right now uh, how I have done it for Christmas I kept it really simple I didn't want too much of a fuss I just wanted simple elegant decor for Christmas and so I use a lot of gold, a lot of white, and a lot of texture, which is what, how I like to decorate. So if you want to see what I have done, then please keep watching. I would love your comments below. Let me know what you think, if you did the same color as me, or what your colors are. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you stopping by. Please do not forget to subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Merry Christmas, bye. I am starting at the back of my dining room which I'd already shown you the sideboard before I'll link it below. On my dining table I kept it really fun and simple. The tray with the stand was a DIY project that I used. I used things from the charity shop to make and then on the table I've just added loads of candles, some reindeers and just some bling just to bring it to life and then in between each of the candles I got these wreaths these beaded wreaths from home bargains on the side here all those plants in that jar all of them all these picks are from Poundland I was super excited when I found them um, and they went really quick so I'm really disappointed because I wanted more and then the reindeer is from TK Maxx On the wall is a wreath that I made about two years ago and I used just some tool and a wire wreath to make that. It was super simple to make. In the middle I've got an angel which you can't quite see and then on top of it I've got these fairy lights that I use all the time. I kept the sofa really simple with just cream and cream cushions and these crushed velvet ones and the gold and grey one at the back and then I took one of my throws, a fur one, and I threw it on the couch. I just wanted it to feel comforting and warm and cosy. I kept the coffee table really really simple with these blinged out trees that I think I got from TK Maxx a few years ago. In this vase I've just added some picks that were a present. These were a gift that I got last year from Rebecca from Style My Sweet. I absolutely love them. I'm still using them and uh, yeah all I did was I added a little bit more white on the pine cones. This candle which I absolutely adore was from Aldi and it came with like a hessian round it but I took that off and just added some ribbon and a star that is a Christmas ornament. It's so pretty it comes with a remote control so you can turn it on and off I it, or you can keep it set it for six hours. I absolutely love it. The box that it is standing on was from TK Maxx. I just love the colors of it and I thought it fitted with the colors that I was using in my space for Christmas. sofa by the tree I am using the throw that was on my bed in the autumn I think and I've just added a, a crushed velvet cushion at the back and then the one at the front I picked up from Matalan I absolutely love it it's a reindeer with like gold horns it just looks so beautiful and it was 12 pounds
this white vase used to be green it was a present from my friend and i just spray painted it white and i added loads of christmas pics in it that were from the range last year and then the blue sign in the middle was a diy project that i did which i could share with you on this small table on the side i've got my most gorgeous apothecary jars that, that both of them are from the charity shop underneath i've got some trees and behind it that thing that you see behind is my tree topper from last year i love the way this space turned out i've got a little wreath at the back of the console table which was from home bargains it was super cheap it's the same one that i used on my mantle In the conservatory, I decorated this the top of this cupboard with the DIY projects that I made and shared with you. I will link it at the in the end card. On the sofa, I just put loads and loads of white cushions and this white fur throw and a silver cushion in the middle. The silver cushion is from TK Maxx. All the other cushions are IKEA cushions. And on the other side, I added this gorgeous. A Christmas tree that I picked up from next sale last year I got three of these I absolutely love how they, they, they look I've already used one on the side which I on the side of the fireplace which I did share with you on the two small chairs armchairs I added these gorgeous cushions that I picked up from Matalan last year in the sale I absolutely love them and then on the console table in the middle I added this vase with picks in it and then just some christmas tree i was trying to keep it really really simple in this space i didn't want to overcrowd it On my coffee table, I kept it really simple. It's this DIY project that I made on one side, the two um, sculptures, and then some candles and just some Christmas pics in a vase. I love the way this room looks. It looks very, very festive, but also very mellow at the same time. I wanted to keep it, keep it really simple and clean in here. I had showed, I think I, I've done a video of the mantelpiece, which I will link in the end card as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you stopping by please do not forget to subscribe if you are new and i will see you in the next one guys bye